So another Andy B two minute video. Now on my left hand forefinger, I have a plaster. The reason for that is we were doing some guarding yesterday. I got quite a few scratches. And unfortunately at one point I actually got um, a thorn in my finger. Now I'm fairly confident the whole thorn came out. However, I'm not, uh, not silly about such things. And there are various things you can do. You can go to hospital, I suppose, or a doctor's surgery and they could probably surgically check or remove what might be in there. I'm confident there's nothing in there so what I do, I wash the area, use some um, uh, antiseptic cream. But the other thing I learned a long time ago from somebody who worked, she's actually the wife of a guy who was a carpenter and he's forever getting bits of old wood in his hands. And she said, well, if he, if he went to hospital every time he got a splinter, he'd never leave hospital. So she uses this paste. I'm not even going to try and pronounce the stuff. It's available in your pharmacy. And it's actually made for warts. It, it, it pulls out the, um, the, the infection too, which is really cool. So I put this on, you, you basically load it under a plaster, stick it on, and it pulls out any splinters. They come to the surface, pull them out, and it also works really well on, on the infection. And I've used this quite a number of times. If I think I might have a splinter, if I think I can't get it out, if it's wood in particular, I shove this stuff on for a bit and make sure I haven't got a problem. And I've never had a problem yet. Now, this got me thinking about things that can grab us unwanted so this thorn it didn't exactly one i didn't hold it it didn't fall on me it was a branch where we were cutting some hedges it whipped and it hit my hand the thorn went in it broke off we found the thorn it was complete which is why i'm confident there's no particular issue but it really hurt so i've also got the pain from the thing being whacked into my hand which isn't very pleasant but how often in our lives do we have these situations where something comes along, it kind of slaps us, we get stabbed by this little tiny thorn and a little piece is left over and we have this thing growing. Now, I'm not going to gross you out with details, but it's the same in our lives. If we hurt somebody, we don't say sorry. If they hurt us and we don't forgive them, this stuff starts to grow and it becomes a problem. So we need to put it like I've done, get some of this special paste, stick it under a plaster. Well, that paste is the Holy Spirit. It's called forgiveness. It's called healing. It's called God's hand at work. So if someone's hurt you, will you forgive them? And if you've hurt someone, will you go and say sorry to them and make it right if that's appropriate? So you don't have a really bad finger. Just a thought.